Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Unis Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have learned about the radar technology, how does that radar technology works, the radio detection and imaging, how does these radio waves are produced in the radar system and how does that particular technology works. So, in our today's video, we are going to learn about the basic principle behind the production of these radio waves, that is nothing but the, what is the equipment behind the production of these radio waves. So that is nothing but the magnetron. So in this particular video, we are going to learn about the magnetron, its working principle and its application. So guys, if you are new to my Jewish channel, the OU Engineers Academy, kindly subscribe to my Jewish channel and please press the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new educational video, you will get instant notification. So let's begin with our today's topic of magnetron. So magnetron is the only device which produces the electromagnetic waves, which produces the radio waves which is used in the radar technology and which is also used in microwave ovens. So what is the basic important principle behind this production of this EM waves? So let's go to the basic of this uh, LC oscillations. So in case of LC oscillations, suppose you, you having a copper wire which is having a you know n number of turns that particular copper wire we can call it as an inductor and if you connect a particular battery to that particular copper wire so this particular when the current flows through that particular turns it will produce the magnetic flux and if we uh, attach the another coil okay it, the magnetic flux okay gets induced in the second coil and it will produce the radiation so that is something about the basic principle behind the production of the flux or as the uh, magnetic waves uh, or as the radiation. So let's take an example of the flute. This particular flute produces the you know a melody a, like a lovely sound get produced by this particular flute. The input will be the air. So the air goes inside that particular flute which is having n number of holes and having a predetermined length. When that particular air comes out one of the holes and it will produces a melody, it will produces a sound. So this is exactly the this particular magnetron works. Suppose I am having a cathode filament. This particular cathode filament is having a, a number of coils and if I connected that particular cathode filament to the battery or to the capacitor, the electron flow will start and it will go through the pass through that particular coil and it will produce the heat. That particular filament get heated out and the electrons will get emitted out from that particular filament from that particular coil. So that particular phenomenon can be called as the thermionic emission. So over here these two are the basic principles that we can see that is the LC oscillations and thermionic emission. So over here the electrons like this particular electrons are moved away or are thrown away from that particular cathode or from that particular coil. This particular electrons they do not get any other source to attach with so this is the reason they come back to the cathode suppose if we place an anode nearby to that particular filament to that particular cathode then in that particular case the electrons which are thrown away from that particular cathode will get connected or it will get uh, move towards the anode okay and this particular while the motion of that particular electrons from that particular vacuum space from that particular space this particular movement produces the radio waves on the other hand we can call it as this particular electrons which are emitted out this particular electron accelerates into that particular cavity and this due to this accelerations the radio waves are gets produced similarly what happens in the previous example of the fluid the air particles are gets like accelerates into the cavity and the sound gets produced similarly over here in this case the electrons gets accelerated into that particular cavity and the radio waves are gets produced but over here the amount of the radio waves which are produced are not sufficient which can be transferred over the longer distances like we can call it as like over here in the case of the flute or the melody produced the pitch of the voice it produces is not that sufficient. Similarly, over here in this case, the electrons gets dispersed or the radio waves are not, you know, are not up to the mark. So in this, uh, so in this case, there are the two permanent magnets which are associated 
on the top side and the bottom side as we can as we can see over here and due to the presence of this magnetic field the electron will get accelerated more and it will spend more time in the cavity and due to spend more time in the cavity it will produce the more of the radio waves similarly in order to increase the efficiency of this particular process like a cavity magnetron is induced over here the cavity or you can see over here the anode is having the different cavities as you can see over here this particular cavity can be in a circular form this can be in a slotted form this can be in a slotted a tapered one like uh, slots are there so this particular types of the cavities are there in the anode which produces the different amount of the uh, radio waves so what happens when this particular uh, cathode like when it emits an electron in that particular space let's say let's track a moment of one electron that particular one electron will move towards the anode and this particular anode plate is already positively charged so this particular when electron moves towards that particular anode the electrons which are there inside that particular anode will move to the cons uh, to the consecutive slot or we can call it as a consecutive space as you can see over here the electron will move from that point to the another point so this is the reason like the similarly the curve or the spoke wheel patterns gets created over here and due to the presence of this uh, magnet and due to the presence of the magnetic field this particular spoke wheel pattern rotates and this particular spoke wheel pattern rotates and it will produce the radio waves so this is the basic principle behind the production of this radio waves and this particular antenna is gets connected to one of the anode strip and this particular antenna emits out the radio waves so as you can see over here this is the model of this uh, magnetron that we can call it as a hull magnetron or else cavity magnetron this particular magnetron is used in the radar technology and it is used in the microwave ovens so this is how the radio waves are produced with the help of this magnetron and it will get transferred over the longer distances so guys in this particular video we have learned the how these radio waves are produced with the help of the magnetron and its application so if you having any doubts any queries please do comment below and please subscribe to my education channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this video